Hi dear friends and subscribers, welcome to Cricket Happenings today. Uh, in this part of the Cricket Happenings show, uh, we are going to look at two inconsequential matches which are happening in the Champions League T20 tournament. Uh, as you know, the Faisalabad Wolves and Kandurata Maroons uh, would be heading home today. But Well, they were heading home, but before that, uh, they played a, a match, as I said, was of no consequence. But uh, what was uh, important was that which is the team uh, that would win at least one match. And this was a match which was played at the Punjab Cricket Association Stadium uh, in Mohali. And Faisalabad Wolves of Pakistan were the ones who got this consolation victory before heading home today. In fact, Faisalabad Wolves were the ones who batted first against Kandurata Maroons. Uh, so I'll be talking about that match. And we'll also um, keep an eye on the match which is again of no consequence. But those are the winners, those are the qualifiers, those are the teams which have qualified uh, for the Champions League T20 proper 2013, uh, which would be starting off tomorrow uh, with a game uh, which is going to be all Indian game because it is going to be between Rahul Dravid's uh, uh, team, uh, as you know, Rahul Dravid's team. Uh, and Mumbai Indians, that is Sachin Tendulkar, Mumbai Indians who actually won the Indian Premier League uh, in 2013. Uh, and so Rajasthan Royals and uh, Mumbai Indians would be facing off against each other. Well, uh, so uh, just uh, talking about the, uh, so I will we'll keep an eye on that. So right now the situation is that the Sunrisers Hyderabad and, uh, and Otago Bowls, who have already qualified for the tournament proper, uh, are in battle right now and well Shikhar Dhawan the captain of Sunrise in Hyderabad won the toss and decided to bat first and let me tell you the Otago Wolves bowlers uh, have been bowling a pretty good line and length and, and right now the Sunrise in Hyderabad have lost both the openers Parthiv Patel and Shikhar Dhawan uh, for, um, with the score on 39 for 2 and we are in the 7th over. Well. So what I'm going to do in this cricket report or a cricket show is first we will, I will talk about the game between Faisalabad Bulls and Kandurata Maroons where Faisalabad Bulls won the match by 10 runs and then we will go live to the other match uh, which, is going, which is happening as I said uh, at, uh, between uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad and Otago Bulls. Uh, we will go to Mohali and uh, probably if uh, time permits I will also give you some cricket commentary. But, uh, well, so let's start off with the Kandurata Maroons uh, versus uh, Faisalabad Wolves match. Uh, Faisalabad Wolves, as you know, um, they, they, I mean, the, the start was uh, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, what do you call, tough for the Faisalabad Wolves uh, with Nuwan Kuleshekara starting off uh, in an admirable style uh, by actually uh, uh, testing uh, the openers Amar Mahmood and Ali Wakas. Uh, and it was uh, thanks to Kuleshekara uh, who bowled a very, very good over uh, with a line line where the catch was dropped. It was an eventful over, one could call. And uh, finally, uh, the wickets were taken as uh, Kuleshekara actually uh, picked up uh, two wickets uh, uh, pretty quickly. As first he had Ali Vakas for, uh, for a duck. And Asif Ali, of whom much was expected after his uh, recent showing uh, in the Pakistani domestic T20 uh, cricket, but unfortunately, uh, one thought that Asif Ali really, really disappointed here uh, by making only 10 runs. So Kulishekra picked up both those wickets uh, caught behind by uh, Kumar Sangakra. And uh, well, the score was uh, 20 for 2. Uh, Amar Mahmoud, the opener, also left uh, pretty early, um, being a victim of Dinhara Loku Hetige for 10 of 12 balls. And then the person uh, who has always been uh, even though Faisalabad Wolves have uh, lost this uh, particular, I mean, they are, they are, they are not uh, I mean, taking any further part in the Champions League T20. But one good thing that has happened is that the Faisalabad Wolves captain, Ms. Baul Haq, uh, has been very, very consistent, as you know, in this series. Every match he has played, he has played, he has uh, done well for the Faisalabad Wolves. And today, too, it was a similar story as Ms. Baul Haq once again uh, showed his, uh, uh, you know, full repertoire uh, of strokes uh, by stroking. And in fact, he was the one who actually rescued this um, uh, uh, this innings of Faisalabad Bulls, which was tottering at 22 for 3. Uh, even though he couldn't get much support, 
He took it everything on his own uh, in making an unbeaten 93 of 60 balls with 6 fours and 5 sixes. Uh, one would have probably, uh, I, I thought that uh, Ms. Bowler probably deserved a century there, but unfortunately he remained unbeaten on 93 uh, for his team scores, uh, which stood at 146 for 6 of the 20 overs. Uh, 93 for six of 60 balls, 6 fours and 5 sixes, giving him the man of the match. Not only that, one very important statistic that has come around in this particular three matches that the Faisalabad Bulls played uh, in the qualifying stages are that Misbah ul Haq has been the highest, not only the highest scorer, if you look at the statistics, it is a statistic which is really, really telling you that the Faisalabad Bulls captain, Misbah ul Haq, has been dominating proceedings totally because his tally of 195 runs in three matches in stark contrast to all the all the players who are playing for Faisalabad Bulls put together could amass only 190 runs. So that really tells you that how much Misbah ul Haq has taken the whole responsibility every time he has come to the crease. And well, and as I said, today also it was a similar story. Uh, Kuram Shahzad made seven, Mohammed Salman giving some company, 21 of 21 balls with 1-4 and 146 for 6 of 20 overs but today Ms. Baul Haq whatever he did it really really uh, turned out to be uh, good because uh, Faisalabad Bulls won the match by 10 runs. Uh, bowling figures Kula Shekara 2 for 34, Dilhara Loko Hitige 3 for 21, Jai Ratne none for 13, Sri Vardhana bowled 2 overs for 20 runs, Ajanta Mendes 4 overs no made and 1 for 27, uh, Suraj Rani Dewey Raida Moss winner uh, very costly today 2 overs costing him uh, 30 runs. Now the other thing, now let's talking about the Kandurata Maroons innings. The Kandurata Maroons innings, well it was uh, initially uh, they lost, uh, lost a wicket pretty early. Uh, Tilina Kandambi uh, who has been, I mean the other day I said uh, one was wondering why he came pretty lower down the order but today uh, it was a good ploy of, uh, um, of uh, having Kandambi and Taranga opening but unfortunately Kandambi couldn't fire today. It was LBW Bola Sadali for a duck and then Upul Taranga as you know in this series he has been uh, been very very strokeful he has been looking the real part today uh, once again uh, played his part in making 25 of 27 balls with four fours and then Kumar Sangakra uh, tried to do what uh, Ms. Baul Haq was doing but he could only extend his score uh, up to a score of 44 of 36 balls with four fours and one six Thirmane was out cheaply today for four uh, and then uh, there was some chipping in being done by Chamara Silva with 25 of 24 balls with 1-4 and 1-6. 15 of the bat of Dilhara Loku Hetige who was run out for 16 of 2 balls uh, of, uh, with 2 fours and Srivardhana uh, in the end 19 of um, 9 balls a real cameo with 2 fours and 1-6 but he was there at the end but uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a stage which was set where they required probably 27 runs of the last 2 overs and uh, what was very important was that Asa Dali came in and bowled the penultimate over for just two runs even though uh, one could have, probably because Kuloshekra was still there at the crease and uh, you know what Kuloshekra is capable of but uh, that particular penultimate over which was bowled by Asa Dali really made the difference because uh, out of the 27 runs uh, all that Kandurata Maroons could do was get only two runs so it was a brilliant over from Asa Dali but after that uh, it was too much, uh, 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 too much to do with 15 runs required, Srivardhana swung his bat hard uh, by hitting 19 of 9 balls with 2 fours and 1 six. And in the end, uh, all they could manage was 15 runs of the over. And finally, uh, when, when the end came, um, the Kandurata Maroons were shot by 10 runs. Uh, thus, Faisalabad Bulls having this consolation victory. 136 for 7 was what Kandurata Maroons finished off with. Uh, the bowling figures for uh, the Faisalabad Bulls, 3 overs, none for 15 for Samuel uh, Khan. Asad Ali, brilliant uh, penalty mat over, 4 overs, no made him, 1 for 24. Ajmal, 4 overs, none for 33. Hassan Adil, the wicket taker, 3 for 26 of his quota. Kuram says that, bowled 1 over for 9 runs. Imran Khalid, uh, bowling 4 overs, no made him, 2 for 27. But Misbah ul Haq has been the real hero as far as uh, Faisalabad Bulls are concerned. Just spare a thought for Misbah ul Haq for his brilliant play. One would have probably thought that, you know, uh, if, if the other uh, players could really, really a rally with him, then probably Faisalabad Bulls, uh, probably uh, one could have really stretched the other teams. 
well uh, anyway so that is as far as that match is concerned now uh, before I go live to uh, this particular match uh, which is Sunrise of Hyderabad currently uh, uh, playing against Otago Wolves of New Zealand who have, who have looked well and here I see that uh, Sunrise of Hyderabad are really really struggling today uh, they have lost one more wicket they already lost the openers and Saman Thrai has been dismissed um, Beard was the baller and Beard in his uh, very very first over uh, has struck uh, by getting the wicket of uh, Saman Thrai who actually chipped the ball and long on came into the picture Michael Bracewell today uh, playing his first game took the catch and Samantra is gone for eight caught Bracewell bowl beard and the, the Sunrise of Hyderabad one has to say I've been really really struggling in this match against Otago Wolves uh, 47 for three in the eighth over uh, the current batsman who are at the crease is uh, Jean-Paul Domini not out on 14 of nine balls with two fours Cameron White today has been included and he is not out on one well um, as I said today I, I will just uh, tell you what exactly happened uh, it was the uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad captain uh, Shikhar Dhawan actually winning the toss and electing to bat and uh, well the the, uh, the bowling in fact Brendan McCullum started off with Nathan McCullum there was a confident LBW shout against the uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad captain Shikhar Dhawan which was turned down by Paul Rifle the umpire and uh, Nathan McCullum uh, bowled well and in fact today uh, it was a real uh, if, if you look at the the uh, way things were going, uh, Brendan McCullum uh, had everything sorted out. The captain, as you know, he's a very intelligent captain. Uh, and what he did is uh, he, uh, he really, uh, you know, understood the strong points of both the batsmen. Uh, and he really, really kept up the pressure on them uh, by telling his bowlers to bowl a very good line, which they definitely obliged. And uh, not giving any scoring areas to both uh, Davan and Parthi Padel and cramping them for space. Uh, very good field placings by the... Um, the captain, uh, the Otago Wolves captain, Brendan McCullum, uh, which really had uh, the Sunrisers Hyderabad struggling. As you know, the openers have been doing a wonderful job, and that was the precise reason uh, that uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad were doing well. But today, both the batsmen were struggling, and uh, uh, that really, really added to the pressure. So it was a good captaincy uh, by Brendan McCullum, who, who has really studied the, uh, both the batsmen very well. And uh, he really saw to it that today uh, Sunrisers Hyderabad would not be off to a good start, and that's what precisely happened. In fact, uh, Shikhar Dhawan was also struggling because he was not given anything in the scoring area, and um, the ball was uh, swinging a bit too. With Neil Wagner bowling a good line, Nathan McCallum, the rider Mosman, already completed his quota. Four overs, no made, and two for 23 for him. So Nathan McCallum was the one who actually picked up the wicket. First, he clean bowled uh, Parthi Patel for 12 of as many balls with two fours. And then he picked up the wicket, a very important wicket of uh, the form batsman Shikhar Dhawan, who was conned by uh, Ryan Tendoskate, uh, bowled by Nathan McCallum for uh, 12 of 10 balls, with uh, was 1 6 that he hit of Nathan McCallum. And Samantra has also been dismissed. So three wickets uh, have already gone. Otago Walls bowlers have done a wonderful job. The captaincy has been beautiful, uh, has been very good. And that's what uh, sees the Sunrisers Hyderabad really, really searching today at 54 for 3 and we are in the ninth over as that Domini has moved on to 20 with another boundary of 13 balls with 3 fours. Cameron White is not on 2. Uh, bowling figures, uh, McCallum as I said, uh, Nathan McCallum completing his full quota of off spin. 4 overs no made in 23, very impressive. Wagner 2 balls, 2 overs for 13, bowled well. Uh, Nisham 1 over for 7 runs. Beard has already struck in his first over and currently we have Ryan Chan Doskade bowling and he's going to bowl the last delivery uh, of this particular over and taking strike uh, would be uh, Cameron White. So uh, just waiting to see, uh, just waiting for the uh, last uh, ball to be delivered uh, by uh, Cameron White. Uh, and uh, as I said, this is the ninth over right now in progress. So well, um, in comes, um, uh, in comes, uh, it is, uh, the baller is uh, Ryan Tendoskade and he is balling to Cameron White. And Cameron White, uh, would be staying there, there is no run and the score stays at 54 for 3. Well tomorrow as I said um, the tournament proper uh, kicks off tomorrow uh, between uh, the um, Rajasthan Royals led by Rahul Dravid and uh, Mumbai Indians the IPL 2013 champions led by Sachin Tendulkar uh, and um, 
one thing that this uh, uh, Champions League 2013 is going to see is that two stalwarts of Indian cricket, Rahul Dravid and Sajjan Tendulkar would be playing their last Champions League here uh, and, uh, and both the teams are facing off against each other and both the teams uh, would love to have a hand on this Champions League T20 before uh, both the stalwarts say goodbye to Champions League T20. So good luck to them. Well dear fans and subscribers, uh, unfortunately I won't be able to give any cricket commentary. I'm just going to leave you with a, a cricket update here. We are in the 10th over. Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, are the ones who are batting first. Otago uh, Wolves were the ones who actually won the toss uh, and actually inserted Sunrisers Hyderabad to bat. They are 57 for 3 currently. Dumini not out 21 of 14 balls, 3 fours. Cameron White not out on 4. Uh, that's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket show for today. And I uh, hope you all uh, enjoyed my cricket show uh, as usual. Uh, thanks for your company as always. And your host Ram will be seeing you all tomorrow on Saturday. But on Saturday you all remember that it's a late cricket report. So I will definitely be covering uh, the game between uh, Rahul Dravid's men and Sajjan Tendulkar's men. And as you know, tomorrow is the real tournament proper. The qualifiers, uh, the qualifier games are all over. And from tomorrow, the Champions League T20 2013 proper kicks off. So I'll be there with my uh, cricket happening show as usual to tell you what happened. Until then, it's goodbye for today. Thank you.